they relax, they pop out, and, and so they're not going to be as efficient, right? And so this is, this is basically creating part of a pulley system to keep that in place, to keep that efficient. Okay. So while I'm reminded that I have my adapted skeleton here, this is another way you can study too. And we've looked at this before too. So let's say, so if it's if it's posterior, it's going to be extensors. If it's anterior, it's going to be Flexors. Can you see how that works? Mm -hmm. okay. So extensors and flexors. Mm -hmm. Now these these digits are not articulated really well. Mm -hmm. I'll break them off if I try to articulate them. So that's why you know these are these are wrist muscles, man. These are mm -hmm. <laughs> extensor carpi radialis, extensor carpi ulnaris, mm -hmm. <laughs> flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay. So that's, but that's, that's the idea, even in the fingers, that's the idea of how this works. It's kind of like the reins on a horse. Can you see that? Okay. That's how these work. That's how those long tendons work. What you've got to remember, though, is there's a lot of, a lot of muscle here, and, and there's really no actual muscle in your fingers at all. It's long tendons. Okay. So if we're looking just at the, if we're looking just at the um, wrist, then if we take an extensor and a flexor on one side and pull it together, look what happens. We get that radial deviation. If we go to the ulnar or the ulnar deviation, if we go to the radial side, we get radial deviation. Okay? You see how that works? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.